I'm just standing in the middle of Vance, mid-morning, in the middle of November, so the sun is low, and I'm looking straight into the sun, contre jour, and now putting on a very, very warm sky, which defines the uh, outline of the buildings. By working with the negative space of the sky, I get the shape of the buildings. And the ground I've put on the canvas is uh, roughly the sort of middle warm tone that I want the buildings to be in. So, you know, they're not going to require a whole lot of painting. The bottom of the sky, the lower part of the sky, I put a lot of white and ochre and keep that very, very warm. Top of the sky, a little bit of a very warm blue. In this case, I've used thalo. Busy day, lots of people. It's a market day in Vance. It's a Tuesday, Tuesday uh, morning, and uh, yeah, so there's got to be some people in here to to help with the atmosphere. Now on the street, on the ground level, we've got this big, warm, light splash of sunlight, which is I'm representing just with ochre and white for the moment just to see how that looks. And, and those two shapes basically define the composition. And so now I just go along and, uh, well, I've got to sort of break up the buildings a bit, put a little bit of light hitting this left-hand building. And, uh, you know, um, I don't want a lot of detail in these buildings, and anyway, this is only going to be a, 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 um, a sort of first shot. I'll definitely have to come back, either tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, and um, finish this picture. So all I'm in, I don't get caught up with uh, fiddling around using uh, time-consuming detailed areas. I just want to try and capture the essence of the scene. So these two shapes define the composition and the sort of range of tones I'm going to do uh, from these very light through these middle tones and then put a few dark tones in so I can see how they all look together and then just work without sort of trying to fill in any precise details but just work fill in um, areas of light and dark and the movement and rhythm and, and balance of the brush strokes to to try and just create that that uh, dazzling early morning light that's streaming down the street it's not easy to do but one thing that is definitely not going to do it is is just working with detail so today I shan't really I've got to suggest some windows, I've got to suggest a few people, but it's only to help build up the atmosphere. The, all those suggestions are just going to be quick dabs of the brush just to see how they look. And then uh, when I come back another day, I'll refine all of those marks a little bit, not much, just to sort of put them in place a bit more accurately or, you know, if there is a bit of detail I want or whatever. But for now, I'm just working on composition, atmosphere and light. And I've got about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, I've started this at uh, 10 o'clock. I think it was quarter past 10. So, you know, I can't go past midday. It's going to be more like half past 11. And that is, you know, that's the window of opportunity I've got with the light before it changes too much before I get too hungry and ready for lunch. Well, I'm more or less where I want to be with this, so I can just uh, look around a little bit, um, see if I've put a bit more light on the left-hand um, 
the building now because obviously the sun is coming round and you can choose you know you choose whether you want the earlier light or the later light and in fact I tend to go with what happens so in this case as the light moves I tend to paint what happens and then uh, so most of my pictures tend to be the the light of the later part of the picture it's very rare I stick to the initial light even though it's the initial light that first inspires me but you know it's what's in front of me that I want to paint and at the end of the painting you know that's how it is the light has moved so the shadow has come right the way around it's even further so in fact I have stopped on that shadow midway but um, yeah that's more or less how I want the painting to look and I think all I want to do now when I come back is one or two little things that make it identifiable as Vaunt, you know, one or two bits of detail that really, you know, you look at and go, oh yeah, there's so-and-so or whatever, that just makes it interesting. But what I really want to do are the people walking through that sunlight and just making the whole place look busy. So if I don't come back tomorrow, it'll probably be next Friday because it's another market day, but I mean, it's always busy in the morning anyway, so might be tomorrow, might be the next day, we'll see. The weather forecast is pretty good for the week, as it usually is. So there we are, that's more or less how, it's, how it is for today.